Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube. We're doing a full day of eating today. So it's approximately, I don't know, we slept in a little bit today. What is it, like 10, 15 now? Oh my God, it's 10.30. We are eating our breakfast meal. I eat five meals in a day. So we're gonna start off with our first meal. This is a very breakfast meal. See, I'm a bodybuilder, but we still have breakfast in a way. We have some oats. This is 60 grams of oats, two sunny side up eggs, and then we have ground chicken with a little bit of seasoning on it. To any average person, this would look like dog shit of a breakfast, but nonetheless, this actually is a pretty darn good breakfast. So the reason why I have ground chicken with the eggs is that simply put, the protein in the eggs is not enough. So I have ground chicken as well with it to supplement the amount of protein to get in enough protein in this meal. I could do egg whites and make scrambled eggs. I've done that in the past plenty of times, but I've kind of wanted to chill on the egg whites because they just weren't tasting so good to me anymore. And I found that ground chicken is a little bit better than egg whites at this moment. Ground turkey is better than ground chicken though. Also, before I forget, we need to get our vitamins. I've been back on my vitamin kick for quite a bit now. They're just super, super healthy. I had packed this for the week with my morning vitamins and all I need to do is take them out. I don't have to go through like seven bottles of vitamins and that's just annoying. So we have all of them here, which by the way, Astroflav did come out with a new vitamin for females. So all my girls out there, they came out with Embrace. So this is a woman's hormonal balance. I actually started taking it last week when they sent it to me. I mean, vitamins, you're not gonna ever see really a drastic change like you will with maybe like a pre-workout or anything like that. But I will say my energy, it says increased energy and mood. I'm PMSing right now. I will say my mood is pretty good, right? Do you agree? My energy has been decent, but nothing like insane. You can use code Ali at checkout. Link is gonna be in the description down below. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna sit down, eat my breakfast now, take all of my vitamins and catch you at meal two. We are back for meal two. Meal two is going to be my pre-workout meal. I put it in one of my last videos. It is two light and fit Greek yogurts. We have strawberry cheesecake and my absolute favorite vanilla, supersetting it with 120 grams of jasmine rice. It's just protein and carbs, gonna fuel the muscles, get a good pump today because we're hitting full legs. I am now fully ready for my slick back hair. This is like my new favorite hairstyle. Slick back pony, braid, or straightened hair. And most importantly, I have my Astroflave pre-workout. This is their one scoop only pre-workout. I'm also gonna take pump pills on the side and I'll put both those items up on the screen. Those are my go-tos for my workout, but it's time to hit a full leg day. Cheers. Now, you might think that that movement is so slow, but in reality, I'm really squeezing so hard. It is explosive, but it's controlled explosiveness, controlled chaos to create a extreme contraction. Drive your heels towards the mirror, which means to only use your glutes to get up. It's been a while since I've done that.
Well, today's workout got cut a little short because of timing issues. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna even gonna sugarcoat it. I'm fucking pissed, okay? I'm PMSing, so girls know I'm livid. I was livid my whole workout because I had to rush my whole workout, which a leg day rushing is really not fun. And you can probably tell by the tone of my voice that I'm pissed off. The workout itself was pretty good. Um, I couldn't hack squat today because the hack squat wasn't open for a long time. Couldn't get to do that today, sadly, because of timing with everything. Just gonna smile it off and it'll all be all right. All right, my little hissy fit is over and I did cardio. My post-workout meal today is going to be 115 grams of ground chicken reheated, so that's disgusting. Definitely had to supplement it with barbecue sauce to be able to get it down. And 210 grams of potato that is weighed raw. So I pop them in the air fryer after I weigh them out and chop them up and they taste delicious. Also with this meal, I have one sumo orange. So on a leg day, I'll have a sumo orange just bigger and then on every other day I'll have a tangerine a little bit smaller this is just a quick acting carb that'll get into my system really fast compared to potatoes which will take a little bit longer to digest and there's the science behind it I hope I'm right because that would be really embarrassing if I'm wrong 97% positive that that's what it's for now it's time to enjoy this meal enjoying ground chicken is not always the best. I love potatoes. I've been loving potatoes lately, opposed to rice. I've been doing potatoes in two meals a day and it's, and sumo oranges, my gosh, don't even get me started. If you've never tried a sumo orange, you're missing out. They're a little pricey. They're real good. They're so sweet, so tangy, just so, so perfect. We are now cooking meal four. Meal four is going to be 115 grams of ground chicken. And then I'm also gonna do 120 grams of potato. So I am choosing sweet potato. Haven't chopped them up into bits yet, but it's going to be some purple sweet potato, which yes, there is purple sweet potato. I will say, I'm pointing with a knife. They're not as good as regular orange sweet potato. I just want to try. Saw them in Whole Foods. They're okay. To be honest, I'd prefer a regular sweet potato. So save your coin and just get regular sweet potato. I actually haven't done carbs with this meal. I am just flipping around my last two meals. Instead of doing lean protein and a fat for this meal, I'm going to do lean protein and a carb. Then my last meal, which is my beef meal, is going to be beef and then a little bit of fat there too. Fat other than the beef. Reason being is that it help with just digestion at night. Just I think maybe that last meal is just a little too much for me to handle. So I'm gonna try to flip it around this way, see how it works, but Overall, these meals are going good. I've been at my maintenance calories now for, I think it's been two weeks. Feels really freaking good to not be pushing food. My stomach feels good, happy, not hungry, but going good. And by the way, I chop up my sweet potato. Potato. <laughs> I just said sweet potato. I chop up my sweet potato. I throw it in the air fryer. Little bit of avocado oil spray on top, just so it doesn't like get all gross. And then I put on salt, pepper, and garlic. Yeah. Yummy. Ooh, yum. Well, anyway, here is my meal four. Probably gonna add a little bit of sauce to the top. I have to burn ground chicken a little bit for it to taste good. Ground turkey though, so good. Thankfully, I do have some ground turkey in the fridge. We gotta deal with chicken for right now before it expires. No wasting food here. Time to eat this. Uh this meal. All right, last meal of the day. We have 115 grams of 93.7 grass-fed ground beef and 80 grams of avocado. So like I said, I switched my fats like and carbs, switched them between the last two meals because it is 12.15 and I'm eating my last meal and this is just horrible, horrible timing. So I wake up around 9.30 and I'll eat my first meal by 10. And I just wake up in the morning and I'm not hungry and I feel bloated sometimes. So like I said, I am switching my carbs and fats between the other two meals because I just found that the carbs at night were just a little too much for me and waking up in the morning just didn't really feel the best. It's also good to have fats before bed because it'll keep you satiated for a longer period of time. I know that kind of sounds backwards. Like, Allie, you said you wake up full. Why would you be eating fats before bed? Well, you know, the carbs were making my stomach feel too full. So maybe this little bit of fats will help. Listen, I th this also could be really wrong, but this is, I'm just testing it out. Um, here's the beautiful meal though. Life hack that Anthony and I learned on prep. You could make your ground beef into patties with just a little bit of seasoning. Throw it on a grill pan or a grill. Throw it on a grill pan or a grill and then cook your beef that way. It's a lot better than chopping it up. Sometimes chopping it up can be good. You make tacos, amazing. Taco seasoning and beef, amazing. But beef, like a patty, 
Yeah, there's no bun, but it tastes a hell of a lot better. And that is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribe down below, like the video. Same as always, right? Comment too if you want. Peace out. Oh yeah.